Hello again and welcome to another Warhammer 40k Imperial Guard video. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I noticed recently that Games Workshop have been releasing some Necromunda models. And I've been keeping my eye on Necromunda for a while. Don't worry guys, this isn't going to be a Necromunda video. This is, this is, a, this is an Imperial Guard video. I want to make sure that's clear. I know a lot of people have been a little bit worried with me looking at things like Gene Silver Cult. No, this is an Imperial Guard video guys. And I think it's going to be really really useful one so games workshop have been releasing some necromunda kits now for those of you that don't know what necromunda is i'm going to give you a very very quick overview and i'm not going to be taking a lot of time on this essentially necromunda is a skirmish level game for warhammer 40k instead of controlling an entire army you would control a squad uh, at most you will have 10 11 12 models on the on the on your side of the battlefield more than likely you're going to have between six and eight and your it's very low level games, a skirmish level game, and it's essentially a gang warfare simulator, gang warfare in the forty first millennium, uh, and and there's lots of different gangs that are available. And it, this game was initially released a long time ago, back in the nineteen nineties, um, and it was very it was very popular, but it got dropped with all the other specialist games when Games Workshop decided they didn't want to support random games and they wanted to just be keeping the 40k and the fantasy going and um so thing with Necromunda is they had is that the models have been recently uh, have been re-released and um games workshop are redoing the rules for Necromunda and it's very good it's very popular um but in general the kits that they've been releasing have been quite good for imperial guard standards i mean you could use goliaths as catachans for example goliaths being a melee orientated absolutely steroided up juiced up uh, close combat faction they would do very well as Catachans honestly if you guys haven't checked that if you're a Catachan player and or you're thinking of getting to a pill guard and you want the Catachans but you don't like the look of the outdated models go and check out the Goliaths but we're not going to look at the Goliaths today we're going to look at the Van Saar well, the Van Saar were a gang that were very different to the other gangs they were super elite and super high tech Whilst everyone else would be running around with 10 guys, these guys would regularly be running around with 6, for example. But to make up for this, they had the best technology. Um, that was the whole thing. Each gang had a unique trait. Goliaths were, had access to all the stims and all the combat drugs. Uh, Orlok had access to uh, very good bullet chucking weapons. And Van, you know, there's loads of other gangs. And Van Saar had access to the really good technology. That was their unique selling point. They were elite, but whilst everyone else was shooting bullets at each other, these guys would be shooting lasers at each other. And this kit that's been released by Games Workshop uh, this week is a real doozy. It's really cool, because I honestly think these guys could be used as stormtroopers, as, as scion alternatives. Because they've got really, really high-tech looking gear on, and they're really, really well armoured. I mean, they've all got carapace armour, essentially. And the helmets, whilst you, you can't really see on a, on this guy, but it will be coming up. If you look at the helmets, they do look very futuristic, almost Xenos tech. But they are essentially, they've got like multi-spectral analysis helmets on. like They almost look like insectoid eyes. Now, I think that works really, like, look at this guy. He's got a, like a really interesting full face mask, like full analysis mask on, basically. Uh, I think that works really well with Scions. I mean, the Scions are meant to have the best equipment available to the Imperial Guard. At the moment, with the current kit, which I, you know looks cool and all, but the current kit looks like they're wearing almost medieval armour. I mean, they are wearing like chest plates and stuff. And whilst I think the current Scions look really, really cool, they don't look like high tech. They almost look the opposite. So I think these guys would be really, really good at standard. And the thing that got me thinking about this was the weapon options that these guys come with. Now, the current, the current Tempestus Scions kit comes with a bit of a limited selection in terms of weapons. Um, you get a plasma gun in a mono pose, and you get a uh, melter gun, and you get like a hot volley gun you get one of each special weapon but that's not really great because in 8th edition you just want to be spamming plasma scions you just want plasma scions for days 
Well, guess what? These Van Saar guys, they come with the ability, with a little bit of conversion, a little bit of kit bashing, you can easily get five special weapons. Easily. What am I talking about? Well, you get a plasma gun with this gang. It's The picture's going to be coming up in a second. Uh, it's, here we go. This guy, that's a cool looking plasma gun. Here's a plasma gun. I mean, what's not to like about this? This guy coming up here, there you go. He's got like, it's meant to be like a radiation gun. But that clearly to me looks like a shoulder mounted plasma weapon. Easy. This person's got two plasma pistols. Now the little bit of kit bashing, you can easily convert some of the LAS guns that come in this kit with those plasma pistols to make extra plasma guns. This guy's got a combi mounter. Well, just use it as a regular mounter. No one will look, notice the difference at close up. And the big thing is, if you notice in this picture, the overall picture, there's loads of LAS guns in this kit. The problem with the other Necromunda kits, they come with like shotguns and revolvers and stuff. We don't really want that for the Imperial Guard. Well, we don't really want that for the Scions. But these guys are really high tech looking. And, and like I said, using this kit, you could get yourself four to five special weapons. One squad, one box of this, guys. Think of it this way. Okay, one box of Vansar could make you two five-man Scion squads with two plasma guns in each one, and you'd have a melter gun left over. Or you could have a plasma gun, and then the shoulder mount of plasma gun, that's two plasma guns, then the melter gun, that's a melter gun, and you've got two plasma pistols. If you want to if you want to have like two plasma sergeants. But all I'm saying is there's plasma, there's melter, there's high-tech stuff going on. I think these guys are really, really good. Now, looking at the kit itself, I haven't got it in front of me, but I was reading it before. You get enough heads where you could have eight of your gang members with helmets and two of them without helmets. Or you could have them pretty much all without helmets. But that's perfect because you could have your regular troopers with like the full face mask and then your sergeants without. Two squads of stormtroopers right here, guys. Honestly, think of it. My, my putting it out it this way. You can spend £20.50 for a Scion squad and you will get five guys and you will get one plasma gun and one melter gun. Or you can spend £25 and get ten guys and get four plasma weapons and a melter gun. It's, an, it's no contest to me, guys. It, it's, it, it just makes sense. Um, I think they would look super, super good. Uh, I am... I am, a, I am very tempted... I'm not gonna lie, I would if I I've got a tournament coming up, my trios tournament. My current list isn't really working out for me. I've realised that I need to get uh, 12, 18 plasma guns into my uh, stormtroopers. Well, at the moment, I've only got eight. So I could do is picking up two of these boxes. I could do is picking up two of these boxes, fifty quid, and I would have ten, eight plasma weapons. And two more melter weapons. I mean, that's insane. That's what I'm saying. It's insane. There's so much potential with these kits. I think these ones are good for stormtroopers, for science. I think these are really, really good. I want you guys to give me some feedback on this, some comments. Am I on to something here? Or am I completely missing the mark? Am I completely off? Is the scale wrong? Or are these guys pretty good for 40k? Leave lots of comments. Let's get some feedback. If anyone has already gone out there and has got some Vansar models, Please, what I'd really appreciate is could you take a picture of one of them next to a Tempesta Scion and we can see if the scale is correct. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time.